Okay, so we are on to intelligent practice for your third lesson. And I've upped the game here with this magic pen, which hopefully will work in a moment. So we have got a few tasks for you to do. First one, complete the sentences. So just like we just did on the guided, really, all you need to do is fill in the blanks. I'm going to do one little bit for you because I'm feeling generous. There are two ones in this number. I've written down two. Done. Again, do it however you need to do it. If you're just writing it down on paper, it's absolutely fine. Whatever you've got, you use. Magic pen. Amazing. Then use the place value charts to draw a representation of each number. You could draw counters like the ones above. So as in like these ones. So, I mean, you saw my amazing counters from the guided task. So we've got three ones. Again, I I'm going to give you the simple bit. So three ones. One, two, three. And then you'd have to fill in the rest. Don't worry about writing the one on. We'll know what you mean. You're not going to have space to draw the counters, I would imagine, and put the 1 or the 0 0.1, etc. in the middle. Same thing on this number. We've got 7 in the tens column, so you would be drawing 7 circles. I'm not even going to risk it. I'm going to do some dots. There we go. Simple. Hopefully, have a go at those questions. Oh, and this one, same thing. So, fill in your counters based on your place value chart. So, oh, what should we do for you this time? I'm going to do the three tens. One, two, three, done. Okay, so have a go at those ones. What is the difference between 0 0.1 and 0 0.01 now? There's a couple of ways that you could answer this question. You could literally figure out what happens if you do 0 0.1 subtract 0 0.01, or you could think about timesing and dividing by something. I'm just going to mention the line method and I'm going to leave it there as it's a reasoning question. You need to think it through. Final one then, it says write down the value of the three. So in each number there is one three. You need to write down the value of it depending on what place it's in. I'm going to do this one for you. So in the value of the three here is zero. Oh, well, that's exciting. I don't know what that means. Zero. Oh, what is that? I feel like I've discovered something new that I don't know about. Oh, I mean, this is magical. It is. I think this. it's of no use to me doing this right now, but I'm very excited about that. Right. I'm going to play with that later and possibly get back to the point. I'm going to change pens and figure out what all that was about. So this one would be 0 0.03. You could also write down 300. So if you're feeling fancy for each of them, you could write it down in two ways. You could write down the decimal and the fraction. That would indeed be awesome. Right, I'm not going to show you any more on there. Have a go at that. The answers are on the next slide on your thing. On mine, though, I have just snuck in these three SATS questions. So these are a couple of slides further along in yours. So this is after you've marked intelligent practice, after dive deeper, have a look at these SATS questions. Now, it has just been on the news today that your SATS tests are cancelled, essentially. We've got no more detail than that sentence. Uh, but we still need to practice maths. We're still going to keep going. We've got to get you ready for secondary school. So it's all good practice. So, SATS questions, all about our decimal place value. So this one is writing the masses in order, starting with the lightest. So lightest, think about what that means. Are you going to put the smallest number here or the largest number here? Have a think about that before you do it. We've then got a part of a number line. You need to write in the missing numbers. Now, this is a tricky one. If this blows your mind, do not worry too much. Quite a few people, when we did this on the actual SATS test, did find it quite hard. You need to be thinking about how many intervals, how many jumps you have got between 2.09 and 2.1, and trying to work out what each of these jumps is worth. Okay, Have a go at that one if you fancy the challenge. 
And now this is a good one as well. So circle the two decimals which are closest in value to each other. Okay. So think about which ones are actually really close together. Again, a little bit of thinking on that one. It's not, not impossible, but it needs your brain to be switched on. Okay, I think that is everything for maths today. So the answers are up on your slides. The videos are here if you need to look back at them. Good luck.